What's up guys? Welcome back to um, another um, car review and I'm in the Audi A3 again. I'm ready to show you the full review. Before, um, the, um, the one before I reviewed with the A-Class and the A3. This time we'll um, review the A3 and um, talk um, through about practicality, um, internet, and entertainment system, um, all these other useful um, stuff, and let's get with it. Alright, first of all, let's start with this um, Google Maps right here. So, Audi's Navi are actually from Google Maps. So, if you can see, so Google Maps, one of the best maps. Yeah, it works very nicely. There's a nice screen uh, which pops down with this button and obviously if you press it again it should pop back up. Alright, the entertainment system actually works with this swivel wheel right here and with these buttons on the left and right and these as well. So we've got the menu button, the back button and this is like the left and right button and swivel wheel left, right, back and forward and then you click down on it. So let's see, let's show you how the Navi actually works using these buttons. Alright, so we've got, um, you can connect your device to it from Wi Fi. This car has Wi Fi settings. Um, it has other stuff like CD player, aux cable, Bluetooth, and stuff like that. The volume button is right here, so it's very loud. The music is very punchy and very crisp. And the volume just... That's how much the volume is right now. And it's really loud. For the volume even to be low. Alright, this is a manual gearbox right here. It's a six-speed manual we've got the automatic parking handbrake electronic handbrake so if i put my foot on the pedal which i have now the parking brake is on and that's what the light means right push it if i push it down the handbrake is deactivated so the car is rolling now I put my foot on the brake again and lift it back up. The light just came on and now it's activated. Right, this steering wheel is one of my favorite steering wheel of all cars. It's the Audi S line steering wheel. And we've got cruise controls on the left hand side of the steering wheel. Left and the right side. So we've got the usual buttons, volume, phone, and you can um, if you don't want to use these buttons while you're driving, you can always talk to the car and tell, tell it what you want it to do, like what music to play, um, what radio, to put the radio on or connect your device or something like that. Alright, so this is a Mr. Mandaz right here. And we've got a little screen right here and we can use a screen by pressing this left and right arrow so if I press left it's telling me what the car is facing and this is for your um, phone to be connected it um, the, all your contacts will um, appear and that's obviously I'm listening to the radio right now and that's my speed all right so this car has not got heated seats just got um, Unlock and lock button on the side of the door. We've got electronic windows. We've got charge lock for the back doors. Right, there's one button that I really like and is very useful. It actually dims the light. And yeah, when you're driving and there's too much light in a car, you can always dim it. 
this room will also go dim and the ambient lighting's around. Like the, the cup holders here are covered with ambient lighting. And obviously the AC buttons and whatever. They will also be dim as well, so let's put it back up and I keep the lights in auto. Alright, so if you've seen my um, A-Class review, these look like turbines in A-Class and the ones in the uh, A3 actually look very similar, they look very nice, so this is on right now and this is closed, so that's on and for more air to come out you just pinch it and then pop it open and then if you want less air then just push it back in like that and it also moves up and down, left and right, however you want it to be facing. But Audis make very solid interiors, so this is very solid. We've got soft leather there um, on the dashboard, and we've got a very nice touch of an Audi logo in a metal strip. We've also got metal running across, and metal on the door handle, and on the side of the door, there's a metal strip going along. And so far the build quality is very good. You can just about find um, a hard plastic or just some, some material that is not good for the car. As this is a posh car, it's a German, it's a premium car. And you do expect um, a good build quality, a very nice touches in the car and stuff like that. Okay, so if I scratch that bit down there, there's a scratchy plastic over there, which is very, which is not nice at all. And on the left hand side as well, and these door pockets, scratchy plastic. Alright, so I'm in um, the back passenger side and it's quite spacious and I'm very comfortable back here with these leather seats. I can really stretch out my feet and they really go underneath. They go far underneath the driver's seat and obviously it will be the same for that side. So for the passenger we've got, right, so like the A-Class, you can't get um, the armrests are standard with the cup holders, you, you'll have to pay extra, it is very expensive, it's not worth it. So that's why we don't have it. Alright, so I'm sitting straight. I have about, I have loads of headroom and I can comfortably sit back here and enjoy the journey. We've got AC vents back here air vents and on and um, on and off so on and off and we've got a 12 volt socket right here we've got some nettings store your storage in there if the cup holders are not big enough speakers right there and right there 